I am a life coach and I run a company called KYA Consulting. We are leadership development specialist. Um, we help people understand why they think, feel and behave the way that they do. Reading, I think I used to escape with reading. I'm an introvert. I think I'm an introvert. So when I was younger, um, to get away from like chatting to people, I would just, I would just read. Um, I used to play basketball a lot. And I remember when we had tournaments, um, <laughs> after a game, I would just open a book and read. So it's always been a way um, to just get into myself and shut the noise out. So for me, reading has always been just a way of silencing the world um, and and just being just being in my own zone. Incidentally, it also then means that you get to understand different perspectives of life. So the books that I'm going to go through, are, I've chosen two books. The one is called The Masterpiece um, by Francine Rivers. The second book is called The Choice by Edith Egger. And I'd love to read um, just the prefix of, the, of this book. It says, even in hell, hope can flower. Um, so it just gives you wonderful insights that the hope, the thread of the book is really about hope about overcoming whereas the masterpiece the thread here is that even in our ashes you're still a masterpiece everything that we are is a masterpiece in god's in, in god's world um but it's at finding ways to understand that how do we then come together as different masterpieces i love francine rivers because the way she writes she's a christian author um but she takes like scriptures and makes them into more day-to-day um kind of events so um i've enjoyed this particular book of hers um and the choice i'm enjoying because the kind of work that i do really is about people and how they make choices um the choice is about this family that survives the holocaust um and just the things that they go through their journey um and i find that has helped has and has, has had an impact on me in particular this year um because after COVID, I've just had a lot more people that I'm coaching that have been faced with realities that I never thought were possible before. So it's really given me insight into how people deal with pain, how people mask pain, um, and most importantly, how people overcome and, and suppress some of the things or the consequences of suppressing what things um, they may feel or think. For me, the business side of business is not as difficult for me to do. The, the difficulty in navigating business for me is that every day I'm dealing with just different types of people. And both these books have helped me understand how people think and feel that the way that they do. Um, so it gives me insight into just different behaviors. So for example, I may be coaching somebody that's, um, I, that I find to be misogynistic of course that would be problematic for me but the point is in my line of work you've got to treat people with love and dignity irrespective of what you think and believe and i think these books have just really given me insight into the beautiful parts of people that i may otherwise judge um in my other lens um so the masterpiece is about um this these two people that that are brought together by by life essentially to work together but they are so different the one is just very very closed up very angry at the world and just incredibly successful and he's a man and the lady that comes to work for him is just coming from a divorce very fragile but how they initially judge each other but when you remove judgment from you know their different worlds they realize that actually this beauty in both ends of the world and i think that has been beautiful for me um and my business because after covid i find myself doing leadership development or coaching people that are from all walks of life um and that are struggling in in incredibly different ways and i think people find it hard to articulate what they're feeling um so um the masterpiece has really helped me to understand um, particularly the males that traditionally would not have been struggling before. They have never struggled until COVID or, or you know, post-COVID, I suppose. Mm -hmm.